everyone, it is Susie, and I am doing the alphabet challenge with um, uh, that uh, Tina over at Shabby Dabby Doo Doll did, and a lot of the ladies on YouTube are doing, and I thought it would be fun to take it on. And so um, I'm going to do my alphabet challenge a little bit different because I know that I won't be able to put as many videos out for every letter. So here's how kind of my alpha challenge is going to go. I will be combining two letters at a time. So just to make it a little bit um, easier to get all those videos out. So um, I'm going to start with A and Z. So what I did was I just took the first and the last, the second and, you know, the next to the last. So I'm just doing them that way. So um, I'm going to do altered art with zippers. That's what I'm working on. I'm, that's my A and my Z. And then the next video will be B and Y, the letters B and Y. And then the next will be C and X. So that's kind of how I'm going to do my alphabet challenge instead of just the individual letter. Um, just because I know I won't be able to get that many videos out. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do altered art with um, using a zipper. That's I've seen something like this on Pinterest. And I've had it saved to my computer for um, quite some time, wanting to try it. So I went to Walmart and I purchased a couple of zippers. I just bought the little ones, and I'm going to actually use the black one. But I did cut off already uh, this part right here. And I have actually sewed across here because I'm using that as a stopper. Because I'm going to have to cut some of this zipper off. So I know you can't see that, but I've sewed across that zipper so that I can actually take it and uh, I'm going to cut some of it off. It's just too long. And I uh, had um, stained that one, just coffee stained it, but then I decided I wanted to use the black. So uh, I'm going to use it on this layaway tag is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to change the string out or not. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this zipper uh, and I'm going to use probably some of this floral uh, right here. I will have to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stitch this paper. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to stitch this paper on this zipper. Now I don't know if the foot on my machine is going to be too wide to do that. So, um, but I'm going to try it. That That's the plan. So what I want to do is I want to stitch this kind of on my, uh, on my zipper like so. I think it's upside down. I want to kind of stitch it like so. And um, then I, what I will have to do is spray this with some coffee so that it gets nice and stained. I'm afraid if I do it before I attach this to my zipper that I probably won't um, uh, be able to sew it on there like I'm wanting to for it to hold good. So, so that's my plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to stitch, stitch this on and I will have to do that off camera. I am going to try to keep this 30 minutes and under. So. Um, we will see how that goes. So I'm going to go ahead and try to stitch this, stitch this on my zipper off camera. Okay, so I did get the uh, sewing done on my zipper, and then I went and coffee stained it. Taking this one, and then I will do a couple of altered um, alterations tags, and that will be my A and my Z. Alterations, Altered Art, and um, Zipper. So, uh, let's see if we can get this done in 30 minutes. So I went ahead and I decided to uh, take the string off. And I just made this big floppy bow. I thought that might work better, look better. So I just took this wide sorry silk that I have and uh, decided to do that. So I'm going to take my layaway tag here, and I'm going to go ahead, and I want to go ahead and just um, get that glued down. I may want to put this underneath it. 
I was thinking I might want something underneath there. And I actually had to, my machine didn't have the right foot on it, so I actually had to take it to work. And um, I have a little narrow foot, and I was afraid that my machine would be, since it is an industrial machine, I was afraid that um, it would tear through the paper, but it didn't. I put a really long stitch on it, and um, it did really well, so I was very happy kind of scared me to do that but it worked and so um, I do uh, furniture upholstery that is what I do for a living uh, that is the job I go to every day and um, I've done that for uh, years so all right so I'm gonna put that because I want I think I want a little bit of that wording shining through there um, I can zip my zipper a little bit up and down, and I wanted it completely open is what I wanted. So, uh, there we go. I think that will work just like that. So let's, I think I better use Fabri-Tac on the biggest part of this. So I'm going to go ahead and, and um, it worked really well with getting the paper sewed on first and then taking it and uh, coffee dyeing it or, or tea dyeing it. It just worked out better. I was really scared that it would be too, I don't know, and it probably wouldn't have been, it probably would have been okay, but um, I just was a little apprehensive about, about uh, having it wavy and stuff and then try to sew it on the, the zipper. Kind of, like I said, though it probably would have worked out okay. I was just, you know, just thinking there. I think I'm going to have to zip that up just a little because of the, uh, I didn't put that far enough down. Okay, so, I didn't look at the time, but I think it's uh, just, uh, uh, it is, right now it is 5.07, so I'll have to keep an eye on the, on the time. Alright, so, and I think that looks good. And I was going to put these little uh, sprigs. Now, these are, I believe, Petaloo. I've had these forever. Uh, because I am a hoarder of <laughs> craft supplies, <laughs> and I know I'm not alone, uh, I am going to, you know, I, don't, I can even tell you how long I've had these. That's that's uh, how it is around here. I couldn't even tell you how long I've had some of this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to, I was thinking I wanted to put this in a, just kind of tie it with a bow there. With this, um, this is just some tea stained seam binding. That's all it is. But I'm thinking I want to, what I'm wanting to do is tie a bow and then just kind of place it. And my battery did die, so I lost a few minutes here. I'll have to uh, just kind of backtrack. It's uh, It was 5.07 when I started, and a couple minutes in there, my battery died. So it's um, 5.16, so we'll just kind of go, go from there a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to just try to tie me a, a little bow there. It's not looking very good. I'm not having much luck right there. Let me try this again. Alright, there we go. That, that looks better. Okay, so I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, um, I want to kind of have that like so. Just like that I think is how I want that to set. And I was going to put um, this little girl right right here somewhere. That's That was my thought. And that will be kind of like my altered tag. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Because I want to cover some of that zipper there. You know, that's, that's right there. And I don't want to put too much, you know, I just don't want to put too much. 
have too much going on. So I'm going to put a little, a little glue. All right. So I'm thinking something kind of like that. Yeah. All right. And then it's got my little bow there. I like that. I like the way that looks even. So, and I may cut these just a hair shorter. All right. And then I want to go ahead and I will probably ink this up a little bit. So it's not quite so white. All right, and I'm just gonna, I just wanna put her a little bit right right in there. And I think I like that. I mean, you can't see her head that much. I might have to move it down, but there's kind of what it will look like. And I, I do like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little glue there and get that stuck down. Oh, good, wonderful time. All right, and that's really a nice, easy project. Oops. Oops, I didn't get no glue on her foot, apparently, because it ain't sticking down. Well, glue doesn't want to come out. I've had it with the pin out of it for a little while. Okay, so I'm going to add a little glue there just to catch your foot. Alright, so there is that. That's really cute and I like that. And you could put something on the back. I'm not going to because of the 30 minute um, time limit there I've got going on. So Alright, so there's, the, and I like the floppy bow, I like it real well, then the string, and I'll probably play with that bow a little bit to get it just the way I want it, but okay, so there's our one, and I love the zipper, I seen something, but it, of course it was a lot prettier, the, it was a lot fuller uh, on Pinterest, and when I seen the zipper project, I thought, oh, I've got to try that. So I've had it saved for, for a little while because I knew I wanted to try it. Okay, so I'm going to move that one over and let's get on with uh, my alteration tags. Okay, so this one I'm probably going to tie something on, but this one I'm leaving it. I had some, um, I purchased some of these old skating rink. This is the Roseland uh, Skating Rink in Jonestown, Pennsylvania. And so I thought that would be fun to make a skating theme. And this is just an old vintage uh, photo off Pinterest that I got. And um, I want to just kind of start getting some of this glued down here. Let's see, we're doing good on time so far. All right, so I'm going to kind of, I already had it kind of in my mind how I was going to get this collaged up, so that'll save a little bit of time. And I probably ought to use a little Fabri-Tac on this, so I'm just going to run some Fabri-Tac to catch my, my uh, vintage lace here. Let's see. Go something like that. Maybe scooch it over a hair. All right. All right. So I've got that kind of where I want it, and I'm going to let's see, kind of. I know I wanted to use some vintage buttons here. I've got them laid laid out. And I 
think what I'm going to do is put these kind of, kind of like so maybe. Let's see. Is that what I want? Or do I want to go maybe like that? Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. I know that I want to put, um, I know I want to put some uh, cheesecloth back behind that. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this. This is that reptile glue that I'm using. So I'm going to add a little bit of And then I may put a little on that side. Whoops. This is just some, oh, some, uh, this is coffee dyed cheesecloth. That's what it is. Okay, and then that'll stick a little more when I get the, when I get the photo kind of stuck down. All right. And then I will put that something like that and then a little bit of the let's see maybe I want to do it that way and add me a little little button there and a little button there Always, always deciding. I can't spend too much time because of my time limit here. Alright, but I'm thinking I need to skip that one and just put that up there like that. Okay, so I think that's where I'm headed. So I'm going to go ahead and get this picture stuck down. And all I did was take, a, like I said, an old photo from Pin, uh, Pinterest of roller skating. And I wanted it where they were in the roller skating rink, and I believe that might be a trophy back there, and then looks like a place they took pictures. But they do have roller skates on, and I wanted that that theme. Okay, and then I want that little ticket. I might have to bend that little ticket up a little bit. Okay, so we're at, um, what did I say, 516, and I'm at almost 526, so that's been 10 minutes. Alright, so I think that's where I'm headed, just like that. I think that's it. And I just want that ticket kind of crumpled. So it kind of sticks out a little bit. All right. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So let's get the vintage button put on. And another little vintage button put on. Oops. And one more. All right, so that'll be this tag, and we'll move on to the next one. All right, so there is our next little tag, and I could, if I wanted to, just tie that in a little bow instead of having it instead of just having it straight up. We could do that as well. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so there's that, uh, that tag there, and I'm not sure I like the bow at all. 
I don't think so. So we could almost glue that glue that string kind of draped somehow too. That would be cute. Okay, so there's the little skating themed altered alterations tag. Alright, so there's project number two. Alright, now for the last one. And this one here, I'm going to actually tear and make this like a little pocket. Okay. And I'm actually going to sew that down real quick. So just take me a little bit of a second. I uh, don't have a way to get my camera right now to my sewing machine. So you'll just have to listen to me sew it. But I like to sew that pocket on instead of gluing it. Give it a little character there. Alright, so there's our little pocket. I wanted to use a little Tim Holtz paper doll to kind of set right on the the edge. Okay, so it's it's uh, getting close here to maybe to 5:30. I can't see it. It's kind of getting a little dim out. Uh, well, the sun's starting to go down, but I don't have my uh, lamp on because I didn't want the glare while I still have enough natural light coming in the window so okay so I'm going to but it is a little dark everywhere else in here and I think it's looking like it's getting close to 530 so I don't have much time left okay so we're just gonna set her kind of right there Get her glued down. All right, and then really all I'm going to do is maybe do a little bit of collage right here. Let's see if I can. I don't want to do too much. I want those numbers showing. I really, and I may just kind of do that. I may just put a little, just a little. Yep. So let's stick that down. Alright, and then I just kind of wanted to make a really small collage. Alright, and then maybe do we want a little vintage button? Maybe not. But I, what I thought would be cute is to just set a couple of little tags, and I think those are going to be too big. So I'm just going to cut them down is what I'm going to do. Because I glued her down, I'm uh, going to have to cut my tags down. Okay, so what I did is I just cut those tags down a little bit. And then I'll ink them up is what I'll do. Oh yeah. And then I have this little little tag we'll put right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that would be really cute in a journal. So we're going to take that out. And I thought I had this blue. I, I got this Sorry Silk the other day. I actually seen um, over at junk let's see I think it was junk journal junk tut uh, tutorials um, is 
that what it is, junk journal tutorials, I think. And so, anyway, somebody was asking the question about um, where they purchase their sari silk. And I usually purchase mine from Victorian Gypsy Girl. That's usually where it comes from. Uh, but I, uh, seen that, you know, I wanted to know the answer because, you know, a lot of times you don't even find a shop unless somebody has mentioned it. Uh, or I don't anyway, unless I just see, happen to see somebody mention something about a shop. Uh, you just don't even know that, uh, they're there. So, I, uh, looked in the comments and uh, somebody had mentioned a Etsy shop. Well, of course, Victorian Gypsy Girl was one of them that they mentioned. Uh, and somebody had mentioned um, Color Kissed. And I actually have never heard of that shop. And so I went over to see what that person had. You know, I just did a Google search. I found out Google searches for Etsy shops um, are better than going to Etsy and doing a search. Sometimes Etsy won't even recognize the shop when you punch it in. But if you'll do a Google search on, the, on a shop, you usually can get the shop. So um, I went over to Google and I just did a little search on that shop. And so this silk, this sari silk is Robin's egg. It is beautiful. It's like a baby blue. It is absolutely gorgeous. And so I bought an ivory and a couple of other colors as well. And I was really happy. Really, really happy with it. Okay, so I've got to wind down my time now. I may be getting over 30 minutes. Um, because I've gotten to talking here. So I'm just going to ink these up. I'm basically done. Just going to ink these up and put them in the little pocket here. Let's just stick them in our little pocket right there. Push that tag down. And then this is a little tiny merchant's tag. Um, I have those in the shop and uh, they're just fun. And there is our other altered tag. So, guys, that's a three and maybe a little over 30. I'm not sure, but we're pretty close. So, I think 736 would have been around a 30-minute period or close to it. So, I'm pretty close. All right. So, next time the letter will be, um, I'll have two letters. And it will be, uh... Y, B and Y, right? Yeah, A, B and X, Y, Z. So it'll be B and Y will be my next two letters and we'll do another 3 and 30. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.